congresswomen from the tri-state area made history with their congressional wins several years ago. They are now paving the way for more women in Congress. And on this final day of Women's History Month, our Natasha Brown sat down with them to talk about their journeys to Washington and why representation matters. It is about equality. It is about reform. I remember when I was first running, I'd lie awake at night and say, oh, what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> U.S. Congresswoman Madeline Dean, Mary Gay Scanlon, and Lisa Blunt Rochester are forging history-making paths in Congress. What led you all into your careers in politics? In sort of my midlife, I said, I've got to run. So I had the chance to run first at a local level, then I served as a state representative, and then really was searching to do more and then had the chance alongside Mary Gay uh, to run in 2018 for Congress. I took about 10 days to decide. It was very much getting in uh, with both feet um, and ended up being the first woman to represent Pennsylvania in Congress in several years until I was joined by Susan Wilde and then by um, Madeline Dean. To say that we're focused makes a difference. Congresswoman Lisa Blunt Rochester made double history in 2016 as the first woman and the first black woman to represent the state of Delaware in Congress. I decided I don't have anything to lose and everything to give. I'm going to run. And similarly, I had never run for anything in my life. I was over 50, a widow, um, had never been in a debate. Each of their boundary-breaking moves into political life and into the halls of Congress has left an indelible mark, paving the way for the history-making 118th Congress, which now includes a record number of women. I think women bring a different expression to the table. Uh, we want to collaborate more. Uh, we certainly want to be representative uh, of our communities. There's actually research that looks at the fact that when there's more women in government, different issues get addressed. In this last Congress, we saw the first iteration of the Black Maternal Mortality Caucus, because that's a huge issue in this country, but it hadn't been addressed. Why? We didn't have that many mothers, and we didn't have that many black women in Congress before. Now, these Congresswomen in leadership roles in Washington have this advice for those who may be hoping to get into public service now that they've helped pave the way. It's that whole thing about being able to see it so that you can be it, that I think was really important. And I, I think we have tried to make sure that the doors are bust wide open. One thing that I tell people, if they think they have any inkling of being interested in, in public service, hang around with those who are public servants. Claim your place. And if there's a table, take a seat at the center of the table because you can't be marginalized that way. Natasha Brown, CBS News, Philadelphia. Counting both the House of Representatives and the Senate, women account for 153 of 540 voting and non-voting members of Congress. That represents a 59% increase from a decade gap. Five women now represent Pennsylvania in the U.S. House of Representatives.